Well, for well over 100 years, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science has been a Colorado staple, and they're excited to welcome you back. There is so much to see and do there, and Director of Experiences and Partnerships Jody Shamer has all the details. All right, Jody, tell us what the museum is doing to operate safely during the pandemic. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, our guests actually play a really big role in helping everyone stay safe. We do require face covering for everyone three and older, and we have seen such wonderful participation with these efforts from our guests. And of course, our staff and volunteers wear face coverings as well. We also have continuous cleaning in all of our exhibits and our high touch surfaces. We've changed our ventilation system to maximize the fresh air brought into the building. And we've also limited the number of people in our building and in the individual galleries and all the gathering spaces, just to ensure that everyone has plenty of room to enjoy their visit while they remain socially distanced. There's truly so much room per guest. It's, it's a, a great time to visit. The museum is one of my absolute favorites. It was a weekly occurrence for when my kids were especially younger. So talk about the theaters and the cafes. Are they open? They are. Our planetarium is open again. And actually our IMAX theater, not open now, but will reopen this coming Friday, including my personally favorite show, Super Dogs or Super Power Dogs. Um, both of those do uh, have the limited capacity just to ensure there's plenty of space between audience members and our cafeteria and coffee shop are open again. You got to always take a break, you know, have a little break and enjoy something there. Um, okay, now listen, let's talk about the Space Odyssey exhibition. Now that's been renovated. Is that open too? Yes, we opened that November 13th and have just been thrilled by how much our guests have enjoyed it. It's a third larger than our old Space Odyssey. And this version was built with uh, community members actually helping us make decisions on what to change and what to create. There's more than 40 interactives. You can drive a rover on the surface of Mars or use your body to warp space time. And one of the biggest uh, changes is we've added something called the Fantasy Spaceship. It has about a dozen different challenges and surprises embedded with it. Some are easy, some are hard, and the spaceship itself actually changes and responds to you depending on how successful you are with your experimentation and exploration. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So much fun. Now, if I remember, you just said planetarium is open though, right? That too? Yep, it is open with the limited capacity and uh, four different shows. All right. Now, I know the museum, they us you guys usually have like traveling exhibitions, right? Are, are, do you have some coming up? Sure thing. We have one open right now, the Art of the Brick exhibition. I don't know if you've had a chance to see this, Gina, but it has uh, sculptures by the renowned Lego brick artist Nathan Sawaya. These are phenomenal. They're works of art and amazing examples of engineering. And that's here through the end of this month. Then our two new ones this spring in February will open a new exhibition, Sue, the T-Rex experience, lots of interactives, large scale media, and we'll feature some of Denver's dinosaurs like the Taurosaurus from Thornton and the Triceratops, or excuse me, yeah, the Triceratops from Highlands Ranch. And um, in March, then we'll, we'll open an international exhibition on Stonehenge. As you know, it's a World Heritage Site, and we're lucky to bring over 300 artifacts and to talk about how um, modern science is, is revealing Stonehenge secrets almost daily. Well, you can't have too many dinosaur exhibits, in my opinion, so I think that's <laughs> fabulous. Uh, talk about some of the requirements for purchasing tickets. Um, do we have to get those in advance? We do recommend everybody get them in advance. We have a small amount for walk-ups if you're just spur of the moment, but advance reservations are really what will make sure that you can see what you want to see and get in when you want to get in. You can make those reservations online, or if you'd like some help, you can also call our museum and one of our reservation specialists can walk you through that. Love the update, Jody. Thank you. The Denver Museum of Nature and Science is open and welcoming visitors. Please plan on wearing a mask during your visit and purchase your timed entry ticket in advance at dmns.org.